the man ousted as Johnson County manager sharing his side of the story tonight. We told you about this last week as people expressed their shock and surprise to see Hannah Zacharias voted out. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post learned more about how this all happened. One commissioner I spoke to said the reason they don't want Zacharias's contract extended is transparency and they want to move in a different direction. Zacharias says that could have all been solved here at meetings. Last night probably was the first night I slept all the way through. So it's been a shock to me and to my family. Hannes Zacharias has served Johnson County for 16 years. Just won an award here in the last couple of months as the most outstanding uh, city county manager in the state of Kansas. Still, the commission voted four to three to not extend Zacharias's contract. One of the votes against Zacharias, Commissioner Mike Brown. I had concerns about just purely and simply transparency and responsiveness. Zacharias says they work in the open. The seven commissioners discuss and decide on policies. He administers them. Vice Chair Jim Allen said he didn't see any major concerns brought up by the four wanting change. If there's a program or we want to go a different direction, the seven of us on this dais had the authority to make that direction. Zacharias tries to empower county employees from the ground up so everyone can make a difference. A county employee even started a petition to save Zacharias. 585,000 people depend on our services every day, and I'm probably the least important person in that in that hierarchy. Zacharias says the county has the lowest mill levy in Kansas, and in his time, they've reduced ongoing expenses by $47 million. It has been the greatest joy of my professional life to be part of this organization, and to be uh, the manager for the last eight years has been the epitome of that joy. If commissioners do have a change of heart, their last chance to reconsider will be at this Thursday's meeting at 930. Shortly after it starts, there will be a public comment session. Reporting in Johnson County, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.